Civic engagement in terms of how it relates to the college is to prepare students to be active citizens in their communities, both while they're students as well as when they graduate and go out into the larger world. There's a second function of civic engagement, uh, and that is we are democracy's college, and we should be a vehicle platform for the community to be able to wrestle with the great public policy issues that it faces, and also periodically to do uh, debates and forums involving either elected officials or candidates running for political office. We've had students get questions from residents in the area. And we're going to have them presented to uh, judicial candidates running for both city court and Broome County Family Court. This is a special event. It's a great chance for our students to be involved in what's going on in the community. It's a matter of civic engagement. It's a matter of making sure that our students are actively involved in the political process in every way, shape, and form. It's important for students to also have their voices heard, especially in relationship to our public officials. Democracies, uh, I would say, are never a given. And democracies only work when a certain percentage of the citizenry who's eligible to vote, and even before they're eligible to vote, are engaged. Just simply having a very democratic constitution doesn't mean that you will always be a democracy. And so it, I'm also trying to suggest to them is you can never take democracy for granted. And there will be issues, especially for young people, that will be important to them. And in five years, 30% of the voters in this country will be millennials. They could actually tip an election if they got organized and could understand what was important to them and look for candidates who would support their issues. Well, what I was really trying to do, other than play an extraterrestrial dressed as Abraham Lincoln, was to suggest to students that uh, there are some unsettling trends that uh, give cause uh, for people to wonder about whether our democracy is healthy. And it's not just the rancor, the toxic political culture, but what appears to be an increasingly alienated uh, group of younger citizens who pay, uh, play virtually no real role in at least the traditional political processes. They don't register, they don't vote, they don't normally get on a particular issue, but they seem to be uh, following the arguments. I talked with a few students, actually as I walked down the aisle, and I talked with a couple after. Women don't have a vote yet, but I guarantee you, you'll have the vote sooner than later, and I want you to make use of that vote. Take this registration form as we fast forward this constitution. Make sure that you're registered to vote. I, you know, what I was really trying to do was to use a clever gimmick, the gimmick of an extraterrestrial, uh, the gimmick of Abraham Lincoln to just engage their attention, giving out copies of the constitution, voter registration forms, uh, students took those, so if those are metrics or markers, I think we didn't do too badly. Good Ranrag will return to talk about other issues. I'm actually very involved with Lisa Straley and Scott Corley doing a lot of work in what we call deliberative democracy, running public deliberations both on campus as well as out in the community. And I'm going to be doing two of these deliberations for students. One's on substance abuse, which I think students will find uh, very useful. And the other has to do with what should we be asking of colleges given uh, the changing world of work. I think these are topics that should be of interest to students. There's a need to understand that all political issues on their best days to be a process of deliberation rather than strictly debate. Where you look at an issue maybe three or four ways in terms of how you're gonna wrestle with that issue. You examine the strengths and weaknesses of each possible solution 
And most importantly, and this is what the Founding Fathers did to a degree, you look at the trade-offs. There are no perfect solutions. I would really love to see uh, young people uh, understand that democracy is always a work in progress and it requires a certain percentage of the population to be engaged. Uh, so we have a pretty impressive track record of people who've gone on to do interesting work in the public arena as elected officials. But you don't have to be an elected official. You, you could work on some citizens committee and fill in the blank what the issue is. You could make a real difference by being engaged with a school district, uh, whether it's running for the school board or on a committee wrestling with an issue, maybe bullying, for example. In many ways, students can find uh, an entrance to, to being an engaged citizen.